What's going on Fight Fans, it's your host Sebastian and welcome back to The Boxing Tip. Now I was doing a little bit of digging around and I saw this article just pop up on the boxing scene, you guys should go check it out. But the article says that the WBC has declared the super middleweight title officially, officially vacant. Which means that Badu Jack has vacated his title and it seems, well, as he was talking about at the end of his uh, James DeGale fight, uh, last weekend he is moving up to 175 pounds now I mentioned in my last video that I would have liked to have the rematch between James DeGale and Badu Jack before he decided to move up or if you know he should even move up at all I don't necessarily think it's the best career move for him but you know who knows you know he could be very successful up at 160 uh, 175 pounds so we're not gonna get the rematch it's looking like so now the WBC super middleweight title is now vacant. It's looking like we're going to get, you know, maybe, uh, you know, another top two super middleweight fighters to fight for that. Uh, it could be, you know, one of the Durrell brothers. It could be Cullum Smith. I know he's uh, making some noise at 168. Nevertheless, someone, we're going to get a new WBC champion at 168 pounds sometime in the future. But let's talk about Badu Jack moving up to 175 pounds now i mentioned that i didn't think it would be the best career move for him going up to 175 pounds there is a lot of good fights that he can uh, have made at 175 pounds but it's and i give him major credit for doing this for making this move man because you know obviously he has a lot of confidence in, in himself you know his uh team promotional company have a lot of confidence in him moving up to 175 pounds but if you take a look at the fighters that are at 175 pounds and how badu jack stacks against some of them you know assuming that those fights get made i'm not exactly sure how well he's going to do there and if you look at the picture i you know i, I just selected a few random 175 pounders you know just off the top of my head and that lineup alone is <laughs> it's very competitive quite maybe even quite overwhelming you know what i'm saying not necessarily saying that he doesn't have any chances of beating it you know any of the what is it like seven people that i got put up there but it's very risky for his career but once again i respect him very much for making this move you know it says a lot about his character he's a fearless guy obviously he wants to get up to a more competitive division for him you know if he was having trouble making the 168 pound weight limit you know he decided to move into a very competitive division with a lot of very good fighters only problem is is that there's a few fighters at 175 pounds that i don't feel he stacks up very well against given his boxing style uh, I do like Badu Jack though, man. He is a really good fighter. Uh, definitely one of the best catch and shooters that I've seen in recent times, man. He's he's a fucking damn good fighter. But you know who who will he fight when he moves up there? You know, I mean, if we're talking, in, if you want to stay into the you know kind of like the PBC, the Al Heyman stable, the you know the Showtime people who fight on Showtime. You know, we have Adonis Stevenson, very good fighter. Archer Better Bev very good fighter and i'm pretty sure you know like slava shabransky sullivan barrera alexander vosdick i'm i'm pretty sure these guys aren't hbo exclusive and i'm pretty sure badu jack isn't showtime or pvc exclusive you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of fights that can be made and i don't really like you know separating networks you know what i'm saying i, I like to think of boxing as a whole i never really get into the whole hbo versus showtime you know and pvc shit i fuck to me i could give a fuck less unless you're in like the tv business or you're like a you know someone who actually cares about the networks to me it doesn't really matter i don't give a shit as long as i get to see a boxing match i don't give a fuck i never i understand why networks can be a bit of an issue when it comes to getting matches made but i still feel that is one of the fucking most confusing and frustrating reasons for a fight not to be made you know what i'm saying but I mean, it's whatever. It is what it is when it comes to that. But Badu Jack stacking up against, you know, even just Archer Better Bev and Adonis Stevenson. I mean, 
those are some serious fucking step up you know some seriously competitive fights for him just those two alone and then you got sergey kovalev alexander vazdik uh even joe smith jr now which i think the new jack might you know is the better boxer between him and joe smith jr uh sullivan barrera slava shabransky you know and then that's just a few of them just you know, that's not even considering some of the ones who are still on the come up you know what i'm saying which i'm pretty sure i'll make a video about you know sometime in the future but just to kind of focus on some of the more mainstream more well-known boxers at 175 pounds i'm not sure exactly how good of a career move it is if he decides he's going to be trying to fight the best at 175 pounds uh, not saying that a loss is going to set him back if he loses to any of them. I mean, Badu Jack is a pretty exciting fighter, very, very good fighter, you know, very capable of winning some good fights at 175 pounds. But if he were to lose, he does have the capability of bouncing back from a loss, which he's have already. He's uh, bounced back from a knockout loss to get to where he is to fighting in a unification match. You know what I'm saying? So he's a very push forward in his career guy. And I like that. So. You know, I have high hopes for him at 175 pounds. I just don't know how well he's going to stack up against some of the top 175 pound fighters. But maybe we get him in a couple of, you know, you know, a couple of uh, fights at 175 pounds. You know, some, I wouldn't say easier fights necessarily, but maybe some of like the lower ranked 175 pound, maybe like the top 20 or maybe even, maybe even for like his first one, top 30 you know, ranked fighters at 175, just to kind of see what he, you know, how he's looking at 100, just to gauge his, you know, the way he's going to handle the weight, you know, uh, like I, they said, he's been having problems making 168, so if he acclimates well to 175, you know, which could be his more natural weight class, you know, he has, you know, he could look good, we'll, and we'll see that, you know, maybe in his first one or two fights, but then, you know, it, eventually, you know, if he's looking good enough, put him in there with someone you know maybe ranked in the lower top 10 you know what i'm saying or even maybe ranked in the top 15 somewhere someone who's going to give him a real test and see how he looks you know what i'm saying if he uh doesn't win the fight then you know back to the drawing boards and you know he needs to work on himself bounce back and try it again you know and this isn't this is another thing that i'm kind of like talking about is just because a fighter loses a fight doesn't mean he's completely written off you know what i'm saying uh, look at manny pacquiao he's lost a handful of fights even early on in his career you know given some circumstances and you know what i'm saying or he just wasn't the better fighter that night you know what i mean nevertheless he's taken many losses but to become one of the most accomplished fighters of all time you know what i'm saying and that's undeniable uh, he went through a serious tear through weight classes fighting some of the best fighters out there. You know what I mean? And he's got losses. Been knocked out, you know, two, three times in his career. Or maybe I think just twice. Or maybe three times. I'm not sure. But either way, you know, good fighters can take a loss and still make something very, you know, very special in their career. You know what I'm saying? Make a very meaningful career. They just have to not let that loss discourage them so much you know what i'm saying and then fans shouldn't be writing off fighters who have one loss or two losses maybe even three losses you know what i mean if, if they're fighting good fighters and they're winning against good fighters but if they're losing against good fighters then why write them off you know it just means they weren't the better fighter that night or they're you know the fighter that they fought is just overall better than them you know like gary russell jr losing to Vasil lomachenko i still think gary russell jr is probably if not the best maybe one of the best fighters at 126 pounds even if he were to jump up to 130 i would still consider him one a very fucking serious fighter at 130 pounds you know what i mean and he has a loss on his record but it doesn't mean he should be written off he's still a good fighter but all i'm saying for Badu jack is that i pray that he does well at 175 pounds because i really like him as a fighter but at the same time if he's going to move up to that particular weight class that's stacked that deep and mind you it's deep in the top 10 it's not not even including the top the other top 20 you know what i'm saying the top 20 under the top 10 them motherfuckers are good too you know they just haven't gotten there yet you know what i mean so like i said 
I hope that he does well at 175 pounds, but if he's going to go to that weight class, I think he really needs to make some adjustments in his game, like his station being a little stationary at times, you know, stuff like that. Make some adjustments in his game, you know, maybe pick up a few more tools, you know, in training, something that he can implement in his game plan, you know, come fight night. You know, if he if he continues to learn more and more, then I would really like to see him up against some uh, big name or big, you know, competitive opponents at 175 pounds. But I guess it's a wait and see thing for now. But until then, let me know what you guys think about this, guys. Let me know how you think Badu Jack fares against some of the better fighters at 175 pounds or even just at 175 pounds, period. Also, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your boxing homies, introduce somebody to boxing. 2017 is looking good so far, so we don't want any uh, new coming boxing fans to miss out on some of the future 2017 action. But that's all I got for you guys on this one. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.